All right, people, welcome back. More vitamin Y, yes. So, as you guys know, or you may not know if you didn't watch last week's episode of uh, this deck, uh, Plague Lush Sea Bell, uh, I tried out something uh, different with the deck, and I wanted to test out uh, running um, three Nefarious Russians Nefarious, and this to see if I would get it more often. And uh, I learned that that is not the correct uh, route to go, of course. And uh, that the correct route to go now, and that we definitely know now what is the correct route to go, is uh, definitely, most definitely, uh, you know, just running that uh, that one uh, Harris. You know, Harris is definitely, definitely something that can uh, go ahead and help out the deck. And, uh, you know, I'm glad to go ahead and uh, have her. So now instead of running three Nefarious Archery and Nefariousness, we run one Archery and Nefariousness, one Harris, because she can search for him. And she can also do plays with... Uh, um, uh, with, uh, Mass Command. I don't think I put any 7s in here. And I should, you know. You could probably come out, because they're not really necessary. You could probably come out. Really don't go into you. Yeah, we could definitely get some 7s up in here. Maybe Black Rose and stuff like that. So, fix the deck. Main deck didn't fix the extra deck. So, I need to make sure that I go ahead and tweak that when this video is done. But, uh, you know, Mass Chameleon, go ahead and uh, have some uh, synergy with, uh, with uh, Harris, which is nice. And, uh, yeah, so hopefully that will work out great. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Uh, and then because, you know, I cut that engine from three, because three nef uh, nefarious arshines nefariousness, down to just, you know, uh, uh, one nefarious arshines nefariousness and one... Here, by cutting that down, uh, we are able to throw in one more card, which of course is the second Dark Hole, so, uh, let's go ahead and see that, so, we're clearly going against, uh, Herotics here, you know, a very, very aggressive deck, let's see, the Tribute, uh-huh, yep, so, what is that, first turn Felgram? Oh, him. Ah, oh, alright. It's the OTK. Let's say, you probably got the OTK. I mean, I could probably block it with you all, but... Yep, then go ahead and put him on top. And him, he's gonna detach. Yeah, I see this play all the time. Yep, so I gotta go inside my deck and banish three cards. The opponent and banish three monsters from their deck. Yep. So one, two, three. Then you resolve that. And now I gotta banish three. So yay, I gotta banish three monsters from my fucking deck. One. Everything is so fucking necessary though. Two. Three. Everything in my deck is so fucking clutch and necessary. I am definitely not about that. Yep. See, I knew dueling against someone this rated like this, I was just asking to get my ass whooped. Yep. Summon Redum, Redum summon that guy back, do the same exact play again. I don't like this OTK at all. I don't like nothing about it. Mm-hmm. You know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and admit defeat. Like, I can't. I can't. You keep banishing shit out of my deck. You got the OTK anyway. Like, congratulations. <sighs> I hate that deck. I hate it. I hate that you're banishing shit. I hate that everybody and their mother is using it. You know? Even fucking Lunar was using it on Daily Lilith. I don't like that deck. There's nothing about that deck. Like... Konami was stupid for even making a card like that. Like, I, I don't understand why Konami made that card. We're just like, oh, send three dragons. Balanced. Like, like how is that fucking balanced? Like, you, didn't we just discuss it? You know, a card is banned. Banned. Like, banned because it sends dragons. And you're going to create a fucking card that sends more dragons. Like, this doesn't make any sense, Konami. Like, Konami. Konami, are you stupid? Like, if you're, if you're, if you're a little bit handicapped... 
If you're a little bit, you know, duh, Konami, then I can see that. I can, because every single time I turn around, Konami's coming up with some new, broken, stupid shit that doesn't even address what happened in the past. They just want to move on with the future without looking at set precedents of what happened back then. It's stupid. Stupid. <laughs> You know, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, it's just, you don't learn, you don't learn, you just keep on pushing the goddamn envelope, you know, and then when something's broke, you fucking make the next broken shit, and the next broken shit, and the next broken shit, mm-hmm, and, and, and it's just not, it's just like, no, Konami, no, no, you shouldn't do that, no, no, Konami, no. There's never disc. Just saw him coming. You know, I really wish I could just say, you know, TCG only. I really wish I could. Gonna get a ton of fucking cards at one. I'm gonna crash. Yeah, I'll crash. You get another card, but at least I get terror on the field. And right now, I'm glad I just drew something. I didn't get any fucking revival. So that's two TCG, I mean OCG decks that I'm dueling right now. Two fucking OCG decks. I really wish. I should. I might as well. T I should type TCG only, shouldn't I? Because I'm tired of getting my ass beat by fucking, you know, OCG shit. Like, clearly, you're going to beat me because it's a faster game. <laughs> and I'm not running any back row. You know, if I was running back row, I could one-up you with some back row. Maybe we could see something. But, you know, this is clearly a faster deck. This OCG deck going against me, you know. Just sometimes, you know. Whatever. I hate Neberdisk. I hate that card so much. I'm glad we don't have it here. It's only when you're normal summon, right? Yeah. Neberdisk is so good. You see this little star constellation up here? Right here? This right here? On the art card art? That star constellation? That's Pleiades. That's why, that's, that's why never this is so strong. Oh, I absolutely don't want to do this, but I'm going to go ahead and, and play it. I'm trying to think what I want to do. Oh my god, this door. I have Mally, right? I have Mally. I'm seeing I can drop a plague or draw into a plague. I'm not sure how long I can take this duel slow. I've been getting a ton of one card. What I get? What I get? Foolish, Torrental, Foolish, Torrental, Soul Charge, Nefarious Archer, Nefarious Nest, Debris Dragon. Tons of ones. Tons of one. Like these last couple of draws have just been one. 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 No. Sorry, it's just a theory. <laughs> Uh, do I want to summon Armageddon and drop Plague, or do I want to set Nefarious Arch in the Nefarious Ness? Uh, yeah, I'm just going to play Nefarious Arch in the Nefarious Ness. I have a feeling that's... Back, negated, by Debris. Say, man, I'm UL Mastery. I think I know the combos and pieces of UL. I mean, sometimes I don't get them right. You know, sometimes I have to think, because I totally forgot that, that Nefarious Archery and Nefarious is Archery with that whole uh, Arch, that Harris combo. But, you know, it took me a little bit. And brought it up. It's like, yeah, yeah, you're a genius. That's right. Yep.
I'm gonna skull XC into who? Okay, that does nothing to me. You can't. Target one face of monster opponent controls. Its attack becomes zero, and if it does, its effects are negated. But the problem is that I'm already at zero. Oh, never mind, never mind, never mind. You're using your second effect. Never mind, never mind. You're using your second effect. Alright. I was looking at the first effect. Never mind, I forgot it has two effects. Yeah, you can't use the first effect. The second effect? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Because I'm at zero. <laughs> That's a very powerful card. It drops you to zero, and then if it wants to, can destroy you too? Like, damn. Static territory, drop something in zero, pop something at zero. Like, damn. You should probably specify which effect, but it's cool. I had to scroll down a little bit. I was reading this first effect, and then it's like, oh, it has a second effect. Didn't even read that. Uh, when this card is not so many blah, 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 blah. Uh, God damn it! Oh my god, I'm I'm running out of resources. I'm running out of resources here. He keeps plus and I keep losing. <sighs> yep. Eventually I'm gonna run out of steam here. Wow, I don't even have enough light points to really play Soul Charge anymore. Uh, I don't know what that back row is. If I knew what that back row is, and even then, even then I still might not have anything. Think about summoning Armageddon Knight, Mally summon, plague, put the shoulder charge on back at the top of the deck, summon, sync for Bill. Then I at least have a Bills. No. Did he use Chrono Mally effects? Yeah, he did. Wait, how is this summon? You cannot activate card or card effects to turn you activate card except for card amount of effect. How did you summon Nebra when you use Gorgonic effect? Gorgonic is in a Chrono Mally. I mean, yeah, it's in a Chrono Mally. You cannot activate... You cannot activate card or effects the turn. You activate this effect except for Chrono Mally cards. But you activated Gorgonic effect, so Nebridus shouldn't be on the field. Not that it really matters, because you could simply bring it back next turn. So, let's say it doesn't really matter, but I'm just saying you couldn't summon it anyway. <sighs> I'm gonna run out of steam. What I'm hoping for is to summon the Beals. Bills be backed up by the fact that I have Call of the Haunted phase down, in which I can summon you Bell, block his attack, and then during the end phase, use Nav and destroy you Bell and summon Terror, and then hopefully sit down for a little bit longer. That's what I'm hoping for. That's my backup plan. Because right now, it is not looking too hot. Yeah. I'm glad that the, the deck is trying. To, I'm trying to keep up. I'm just... Just like yesterday, I this uh, this this is really what I'm worried about is is vitamin Y literally turning to either me breezing and crushing my opponent because they don't know how to play Yu-Gi-Oh and they're not using anything relevant, or they're using a deck so much more powerful than me that I struggle and end up still losing. But I guess it might be entertaining to see my thought process when I'm you know when my back is against the wall. <sighs> you know that might be entertaining to watch because right now I'm having a super difficult time. <sighs> Think. 
Because I have a pretty good feeling that he's simply gonna just... One on one, my fucking deals. You know. Blood Ogre's not gonna do anything. Blood Ogre could do something, but as like I said, he's probably not gonna activate anything. So Saber Play would just go to be go to go into deals. Uh, he could kick my butt without activating spell cards. So spell and trap cards. Unless this is a deep prison, then I should have went for it Ogre. But I already committed to the sink eight before I set the call to haunted. All right, so I take. 21 yep so i take your attack which is 21 which means that all you have to do is just attack over my armageddon knight next turn and that's game anyway so i, mean, I still get my effect so i shoot up to 5100 that's great and all but i don't got the once again i don't have the life points to survive so just like yesterday's video too I know I say life points don't matter, but they're starting to matter now when I'm starting to run out of life points. Huh. Yep, that's it. Yep, just go into another Gorgonic, Xe into a Gorgonic, make me zero, kill me. That's it. You got it. Just summon Gorgonic and you got it. Oh, well, same thing. <sighs> oh, that's another loss. Like I said, this is this is this, this is vitamin Y. This is vitamin Y. Number generator, shitty hands, drawing you bell, either dueling against someone who I would completely crush because they don't know how to play Yu-Gi-Oh! They're using the shitty deck, or dueling someone who's using a deck that's completely outclasses me and crushes me despite me trying to do my best. <sighs> the power creep. No, I get it. I'm not using the best deck in Yu-Gi-Oh, but, you know, uh, fighting chance is nice. Chance not bad. You know, got my butt completely trashed these last two duels, so let me just try to do this last duel for you guys. You can't say that my plays were bad. They weren't bad. It's doing fine. It's just, I just couldn't keep up. Just gonna set one back row, huh? Not gonna commit to anything. I'm just gonna poke you. If you don't want to do anything with my Armageddon Knight, fine. I'll just poke you. I'm not gonna commit to any plays. I don't need to. It's not necessary. Wonder what your deck you're using. Alright. This card can only track Dragon Monsters. This card battles Dragon Monster. It gains 100 attack and damage out. So, blah, 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 blah. blah. Alright, so it goes up to 3,000 only if it battles a dragon. Cute. So you just summoned it just to be a wall? I'm a Dark Reffer. Okay. Back. Pitch Dark Reffer, because I don't need another Dark Reffer right now. I know I could get set up, but I want to take the defensive route, so I'm going to drop Harris. She's going to get her effect. And she's going to search me in a fair search in a fair assist. So, there you go. There's the combo piece. Yeah. And then now i got Harrison. I can literally go summon, summon, make a Yazi, summon, summon, make a Black Rose. So, I need to put them in there. You know, Yazi and Black Rose are like up there. It's my favorite sevens. And if you're wondering, clear, clear wing, clear wing. It's not on here yet. Uh, it's not on here yet. So, I'm just going to XC. You know, if something happens to these two or the XC monster, I really don't care. So... You know, that's not really my problem. No. What? Yeah. It's not really my problem. I'm trying to play well, but sometimes outclass is just outclass. I mean, did you see that first duel? He's literally just using one of the best OTKs that's been invented, that's been put in Yu-Gi-Oh! in a cool minute. I'm a reptile, so don't worry about that. What is Galaxy Dragon for? Is it just for Galaxy Eyes? Like, just to combat dragons? Like, oh, run over a Stardust! Ah! Like, I, I don't know. You can only attack dragons. It's really specific, so unless you have DNA surgery, I mean, I don't, I don't know what you're getting at. You know? It's, it's a very specific card. Very specific card. Uh, I'm going to... Thinking, thinking. 
Yeah, I'm going to chain. Chain. Okay. Mini bell. Eat your dark coal. Fat. And some in tear. Here you go. I'll eat your dark coal, but I'm gonna get I'm gonna get a bell out of it. Call the hunted. All right, that's slime. Summon your dragon back. Okay. Summon another level four C. Let's say, Terra may look like a dragon a little bit, but that's a real, that's a fiend. It's clearly a fiend. So. So I'm dueling against a shitty version of Tiago. Let's see if I can put up the front. What are you gonna go into? Belgram? Tachion? There's a lot you could go into. Prime? Tachion. I was, I was thinking Tachion. Alright, once per turn at the start of the battle phase, you attach on turn and get the effects of all face on monsters currently on field, also if they're attacked. Which means it comes to go to the to If your opponent during the battle phase, each time your opponent that phase a card on the fact that you also get your effect. You can make an additional attack, but it doesn't matter because I'm still walling you. Is that permanent? No. Until the end of the battle phase. Draw. You're back at 3,000. Hmm. Well, it's obvious. I, got, I have to kill you. The question is... What are you going to do with him? I think I might just summon Nefarious Archie and Nefariousness. Yeah. I'll set it. I mean, it really doesn't matter. Same end result. Yeah, and go at you with Ultimate Nightmare. Okay. All right. You know it. Cool. Some people don't know you, Bell. I like that. So, there you go. I took down Tachion, so that's fine. I've got lots of revival here. I've got revival out the ass. I can summon you bell multiple times. Shard agreed. Alright. I guess it can. Wait a minute. He couldn't attack my freaking uh, terror any ultimate nightmare anyway, but that's fine. So. You can attack face down monsters? With that card? Huh. I'm gonna look that up. Huh, well, I couldn't find anything. I guess the card's not important enough. So, I'll leave it alone. I'd say he couldn't attack the Ultimate Nightmare, even if the Ultimate Nightmare could be destroyed by battle, so. No. I'm good. Alright, if I, if I want my effect, I'll get my effect. You don't have to worry about You have to worry your pretty little head about that. Oh, I'm pretty chill right now. 
So nightmare attack. I just realized, I just remembered that. I'm like, wait, you can only attack dragons. Like, Ultimate Nightmare may look kind of like a dragon, but it's not a dragon, so you can't come after me like that. least one one in this video all right so i hope that you guys enjoyed so like i said that harris play definitely does help out okay you know uh having the fairy touching a fairy sense in that graveyard to have me covered was pretty nice and you know, especially with the mass chameleons there because i'm not sure if he would have killed it himself so i'll find i'll kill it i'll summon terror all right so i hope that you guys enjoyed this uh episode of vitamin y because i'm worried about vitamin y but for right now we're just gonna have to keep pushing so thanks for watching thanks for all the support I will see you guys tomorrow with um, Evalxies with the same uh, uh, Harris combo, the, the Harris combo, which is great because now, because Harris is in there, that's my level three for my uh, message in a bottle play. So that's awesome because, you know, after I took out Spirit Crack, I didn't have another level three. So literally it was just level eater, you bell, and then all my four. So, you know, if I didn't get level in you bell, I couldn't even, in the graveyard, I couldn't even use message in bottle, but now I have a level three, so I can go with that as well. So that's also great. Uh, so... Uh, look forward to that um, and also you guys have may have noticed that live videos are back and to go with the whole live videos thing uh, I am going to be starting webcam duels so with webcam duels uh, I am going to be using the eighth Ubel deck uh, I kind of got it the way that I want it it could do other things I'll talk about it in the video but uh, it's pretty much going to be like here it's going to be like an additional vitamin it's going to be right here on DN uh, and, you know instead of you say face I'm just going to put my webcam right there so you can see me on the webcam I'm, I'm going to be on my laptop so you know I'm not going to have my mouse so I might be you know playing a little bit slower because I'll have to use my little mouse pad I don't like that thing but it's fine I, you know, I'm not going to unplug my mouse and plug it in my laptop it's not worth the trouble but uh yeah so you pretty much get two vitamin wise tomorrow so I uh, hope you guys are looking forward to uh, not only vitamin Y tomorrow with Evoxies, but also uh, the eighth deck of vitamin Y. Yep, the mysterious golden Ubel deck. All right, so I hope you guys are looking forward to it. So thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And I will see you guys tomorrow with that. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.